Welcome back everybody, after we've now put our cakes in the oven, which are actually looking pretty good at the moment. We're going, while they're baking, we're going to now start to make the filling and the topping. The filling is going to be raspberry jam, fresh raspberries, but a mascarpone cream. So we're going to mix the mascarpone with a little bit of caster sugar. And the, we're going to make a fondant icing topping, which we're going to um, add some glucose to. We're going to add a little bit of pink color to, but basically it is the same fondant icing we made for the eclair. So, Mael, if you'd like to kick us off by adding the uh, sugar to the mascarpone and mixing it all up together, that would be... So the brown sugar? Yeah, we're using the golden caster sugar. Could you use normal sugar for this? You could, but I prefer golden caster sugar for two reasons. One is because I think it has a nicer taste, and the other one is not being bleached artificially. So same thing for the cake? Yeah, uh, same thing for the cake, yeah. Say so yes, please, if you would. Thank you. And there is 250 grams of uh, mascarpone and 25 grams of caster sugar. Or a tablespoon, whatever is easiest. So, you want to go with the machine? And let me hold the bowl for you. Slow. Do you want to get these sides mixed? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Now, if you find that your mascarpone cream is a little bit thick, and this, this is, now leave those in for the moment, yeah? You can add a small amount of milk to soften it up, which we're going to do now. So we're just going to add a tablespoon or two, like that. Just give that a final mix with the spatula. It's much soft. It is, and then scrape around the edges. And we'll be able to spread that quite easily now. Yep. Good. Okay, so if you want to put that to one side. Yeah. yeah, I think. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the fondant icing. So we have a uh, 125 grams of icing sugar, and we're going to add a dessert spoon of hot water, and we're going to add um, a dessert spoon of, or slightly less than a dessert spoon of um, glucose syrup. Should I get some water? I'm, I'll get the water for you. If you want to squirt a good spoonful of glucose syrup into that. There's thing. boiling water. Thank you. How much glucose do I put in? You want a dessert spoonful. So. Bit more. Lovely. Okay, well done. And is this just liquid sugar? Glucose syrup is a, a syrup made as part of the sugar refining process. So, and it's um, it doesn't crystallise, which is very good when you're doing patisserie, for the simple reason is that you can add it to syrups and icings to stop them from going too hard, but also uh, it gives you a spreadability that actually you wouldn't have otherwise. All right, so going to put some, a little bit of hot water into that. Right, so now you'll need to hold the bowl firmly because that's going to be quite stiff. And now we're going to put a couple of drops of food colour into it. And we're using a, uh, an artificial food colour. We're not using the, um, the original old style cochineal, which was made from crushed beetles. But we don't like that, so we're not using it. There we go. See how you get on with that. Okay, so a couple of drops. Yeah, because we don't want absolutely scarlet. We want a nice pale pink. Okay, so that's red. Yes. What do you think of the colour? It's really nice. I <laughs> think it's really pretty. 